Hey, good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Daniel Drum and I'm the chair of this committee. I've been joined by Councilmember Farrah Lewis, Councilmember Barry Grudenchik, Councilmember Robert Cornegie, Councilmember Keith Powers, Min uh, Minority Leader uh, Steve Matteo, <laughs> uh, Councilmember Roy Lansman, Councilmember Adrian Adams, and I said um, Barry Grudenchik already, yes. Today the committee has four items on the agenda, three land use items, and intro 1750, which would authorize six bids to increase their assessments. First, we have the land use items. The first is Knickerbocker Village Apartments in Councilmember Chin's District in Manhattan. This action would provide a partial 40-year Article 4 property tax exemption to support the preservation of 1,590 units of affordable rental housing. The center is Strivers Plaza in Councilmember Perkins District. This action would provide a full 40-year Article 11 property tax exemption to support the preservation of 117 units of affordable rental housing. The third is St. Nicholas Manor Apartments, also in Councilmember Perkins District. This action would provide a partial 40-year Article 11 property tax exemption to support the preservation of 112 units of affordable rental housing. Each council member is supportive of the exemptions in their districts. Next, we have the bid item. Intro 1750 would authorize five bids and one special assessment district throughout the city to increase the amounts they expend annually. The council previously approved Resolution 1093 on October 17th, setting today as the date for a public hearing on this legislation. The budget increases have been requested by the property owners within the boundaries of each bid and would be used to enhance the services they provide. Uh, the details about which the bids uh, would, would see uh, increases, excuse me, the details about which bids would see the increases and the amounts sought are set forth in the briefing documents prepared by the finance staff. Representatives of the Department of Small Business Services are here to testify regarding the requested assessment increases, and we'll hear from them now. So I'd like to call up Stephen Lee and Calvin Brown. Good morning. Do you affirm that your testimony will be truthful to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief? Yes. Thank you. You may proceed. Sorry. Auto. Sorry. Good morning, Chair Drum and members of the Finance Committee. I'm Calvin Brown. I'm an Assistant Commissioner at the Department of Small Business Services, and I wish to express our support for the law providing an increase in the amount to be expended to five business improvement districts and one special assessment district in which I will be referring to as bids. To propose an assessment increase, bids must complete a multi-step review process overseen by SBS. The bid board of directors, which include local property owners, merchants, and residents, as well as the city controller, borough president, city council, and SBS must review and approve the proposed assessment increase. Additionally, SBS requires all bids to submit a five-part justification outlining how the increase will be allocated. Minutes from the board meeting, which the increase was approved, and a letter of support from the city council members that are represented within the bids boundaries. SBS then reviews these proposals and determine whether they are sufficient to bring to city council. Additionally, as required by law, each of the six bids publish a notice of public hearing at least once in a local paper having general circulation in a district specifying the time and the place of today's hearing and state in the proposed amount to be expended annually. Each district has also certified that they have mailed a letter to property owners informing them about the proposed assessment increase and the time and place of the public hearing. It is a priority of the agency that assessment increase proposals focus on enhancing programs and services provided to the district. The six districts proposing assessment increase are doing so to address vital needs and changing conditions. These increases will further expand, reinforce, and strengthen the existing core services currently provided in the business district and include funds for capital improvements, plaza activation, and added staff capacity. 
Additionally, portions of these increases will be used to sustain current levels of sanitation and public safety programs and services impacted by the rising cost related to the increase in the minimum wage. The proposed increases for fiscal year 20 range from 360,000 to 3.2 million, varying according to the budget size, district size, and proposed changes in the programs and services. I'm happy to restate the specific amounts for each of the six districts. 34th Street going from $12,640,000 to $13 million. Fifth Avenue from $3,207,000 to $6,414,000. Fulton Moore, $2,100,000 to $3,006,750. Metro Tech from $3,274,492 to $4,911,738. NoHo, $540,000 to $800,000. And Union Square, $2.6 I mean, two million six hundred thousand dollars to four million two hundred thousand dollars. The city's seventy-six bids invest in over one hundred and fifty-eight million into local economies in the form of supplemental services and programs that serve ninety-three thousand businesses across the city. Bids have been valuable and proven partners in the ongoing initiatives of neighborhood revitalization and economic development across the five boroughs, making New York City cleaner, safer and more vibrant. Bids are also advocates for small businesses in their districts, helping them to navigate government, facilitate networking among fellow business owners, providing business retention support, and attracting shoppers to their area. In partnership with the city government, bids help create jobs, improve the quality of life for New Yorkers and visitors, enhance the city tax base, and strengthen local economies. Representatives from each of the bids um, seeking an assessment increase are present to answer any questions, as well as myself. Thank you. Thank you very much for that testimony. Are there any questions from the council members? Okay, with that, I'm gonna ask the clerk, Billy Martin, to uh, call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Gibson. I vote aye. Carnegie. Aye. Cumbo. Aye. Lansman. Aye. <coughs> Rosenthal. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Powers. Aye, and I want to welcome my friends from the Fifth Avenue and 34th Street bids here today. Thanks. Lewis. Aye, and I quickly want to make a quick statement. Um, out of the 76 bids in New York City, the Flatbush Nostrum bid was not considered for this assessment, which is an issue for us in Flatbush. Uh, they were overlooked by a particular division from your agency, and we would love for them to be considered next year for the spring. There's been a 27% increase um, in, in services that are needed, particularly in our district. So I'm listening to all the numbers that you're throwing out, 400,000 a million. We asked just for a 200,000 assessment increase, and we were overlooked. So we we definitely want to be considered for the next time. Thank you. Nadio. Aye. By a vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, thank you very much. We're going to leave it open for about 10 minutes or so for others to come. Thank you. <laughs> 